Hi guys, in our video, we're going to be working on estimating answers to decimal addition and subtraction. When we estimate, it's not going to be the exact answer. We just want an answer that's going to be about uh, the same or, or close to the actual answer. So we need to do rounding when we're estimating. And then you can see in our problem, we have two and 37 hundredths plus three tenths. So we have numbers that don't have um, zeros in decimal places. And when we round, we like to have nice whole numbers. So in order to get an estimate to this addition problem, we need to do some rounding. And let's take a look at our first number over here. 2 and 37 hundredths. I want to get this decimal number into a whole number. And so I'm going to look at the whole number that I have right now, and it's a 2. So I want to get that to the closest whole number and get rid of this stuff off to the right side of the decimal. In order to round, I need to remind myself of some rounding rules. So I'm going to write those off to the side over here. And you can certainly write these as a reminder to help you out in your math notebook. When we round greater than or equal to five, it's going to go up by one or less than five, it's gonna stay the same. So what do I mean by all of this? When we're rounding, we're going to look off to our right from the number that we're rounding to and the number to the right is going to be bossy. So this 3 is going to tell the 2 either to go up by 1 or to stay the same. Since 3 is less than 5, it's going to tell the 2 to stay the same. So we're going to rewrite our 2 and our decimal point. And then after we figure out this stuff over on the right-hand side, anything after the decimal point needs to be replaced by a 0 because that is rounding. We're getting it to a nice, even, whole number. So this is a 2. Obviously, without the decimal points, we could just write it as a 2. It has the same value as with the decimal points. Super. Let's round our next one. And just for kicks and giggles, I'm actually going to change this to an 8 so we can see how this looks a little bit different. OK, so we're going to round to the nearest whole number. Although there's no value in our ones place right here, we're going to be rounding to that place. Um, so we're going to look off to the right, and we have an 8 in the tenths place. And so remember, we look over to the right for our rounding rules, and that 8 is going to be bossy, and 8 is greater than or equal to 5. So it's going to tell our digit to the left to go up by 1. So our 0 is going to become a, you guessed it, a 1 rewrite our decimal point, and then remember, anything after that has to go to zeros. Super, so if we were to add this now, we would have two plus one would be three. So we would suspect that if we were to actually answer two and 37 hundredths plus eight tenths, it would be about three. Let's try estimating an answer to the subtraction problem. Once again, following our rounding rules, we want to get everything to a nice whole number greater than or equal to five. It goes up by one. Sorry for my shorthand, hope this is making sense. Or less than five, it stays the same. And then we add zeros. 19 and 91 hundredths we're going to round it to the nearest whole number. Now here, you can see we have two digits. We have a tens place and a ones place. So we're just going to round it to the closest one to the decimal, which is the ones place. So we're gonna underline that right here, and we're gonna look off to the right. Remember the nine in the tenth place is going to be bossy. It's going to tell the ones place what to do. And since nine is greater than five or equal to five, it's going to tell the nine to go up by one. Well, we know when 9 goes up by 1, it goes to a 10. So the 0, and then we have to move the 10 over, so it becomes 20. Put our decimal, and then put our zeros after because we rounded. Let's check out this one. Underline our value that we're rounding to. Look off to the right. It's a 0. 0 is less than 5, so it's going to tell the 1 to stay the same. 
sorry, I'll change colors, and then zeros after that. So we would suspect if we were to estimate 19 and 91 hundredths minus 1 and 9 hundredths, we would get an answer about 19.